problem we see on the disc golf course with a lot of players is struggling to get their putter to the basket. It often comes out low, there's not really a lot of height or pop to it, and they end up hitting the bottom part quite often, and it creates a lot of frustration. Well, today we're gonna talk about one important factor that we never mention in our other putting videos that could really help you get some pop and spin to get your disc high and traveling towards the basket, and it really all has to do with the use of your fingers on the putter. Now before we get into the tip, let's just clear the air. If you're not engaging your lower half for the straddle or for the staggered, you're really not using any part of your lower body. Having good grip and spin is gonna be great, but you're losing out on a lot of power and momentum to get the disc to the basket. So let's first talk about the grip and then how you can add that pop. So in our previous putting videos, we talked about having your index finger somewhere on the rim, your three fingers at the back kind of flared out, spread out in a fan style and then your thumb just kind of resting on top. And we also talked about how you add spin with your wrist from starting from 12 and then going to about two. And you really don't want to do much more than that. But the one thing that really adds a lot more pop and spin to the disc, aside from your wrist, is the use of those bottom fingers. You really want to engage and push off with those fingers, which is going to seem quite awkward at first to do. And one of the best ways to practice this is to take the disc with your regular grip and to then throw it spin it up in the air. It's really engaging your wrist, but also pushing off with those fingers. Now we're gonna be very honest with you. The reason why so many players struggle to add that pop and spin is because it's one of the first things to go if you're not practicing consistently or you haven't been out in a while. It's kind of like golf with putting or with chipping. It's really more of a finesse technique. It's very delicate. It's really hard to be very precise if you're not doing it on a consistent basis. So in the end, popping and really firing those fingers with your putter is something we're always struggling with. We're always working towards improving. And that's why you see players on the Pro Tour practice putting a ton before their round because they really want to get that feel. And it's a very difficult feel to get if you're not warming up. Try this tip for yourself. We really think it's going to be a big help. Remember to be throwing that putter upwards, firing your wrist as well as your fingers, popping it upwards to get the feel on how to do it. Thanks as always for watching you guys if you like this video you know exactly what to do and we'll see you in the next one merci beaucoup et à bientôt